Hi, welcome to another video. So, I had covered Minimax M2, and it was a really good alternative to the closed options, and really great in long-running tasks than GL M4.6. However, I have had time to use it and do some good amount of work with it, and I guess I have a bit to talk about it. I also shared my testing results on Twitter, and the researchers from Minimax reached out to me saying, that it apparently performs better with Claude Code. So, I also wanted to talk about how you can use it with Claude Code and show my testing results with it as well. And it's quite interesting, especially considering you can use it for free right now. And even after that, it's really cheap. I'd recommend you to check out my previous Minimax M2 video as well. I hope you guys like these testing videos. These tests takes a lot of time. I am trying my best, and if you guys like these testing videos, please comment and like the video below. It gives me a bit of a motivation. So, how do you use this model with Claude Code, and that too for free? But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Photogenius AI. Photogenius AI is an all-in-one AI-powered creation suite that lets you type anything and get stunning visuals instantly. Now also the best place to use Google's Nano Banana for images and VO3 for videos, plus affordable 3D model generation. Inside the image playground, Nano Banana shines for fast, high-quality image generation, and you can add reference images and do edits right in the tool. You also get Flux, Stable Diffusion, Kandinsky, and more in one place. The Video Playground supports Google VO3 with and without reference images, and you can render in different styles without the usual complexity. Great for coders who want results, not knobs. For 3D, you can upload a PNG, think a Lego build or a simple robot, and get a printable model. Cheap, quick, and surprisingly clean for rapid prototyping. Pricing is among the best for VO3 and Nano Banana, and you still have access to about 10 other handy AI tools like avatars, background removal, logo, emoji, ads, and app icons in the Creative Tool Suite. It starts at a low entry price, and you can take an additional 30% off with my coupon code KING30. Check Photogenius out through the link in the description and try it for yourself. Now, back to the video. Well, it's simple. Currently, Kilo, Ru, Open Router, and a lot have worked with Minimax to add direct free API support for it. So, you can use it for free, without any major limits on Kilo code, quite easily. You just go there, and select it, and use it. However, I am talking about Claude code today. You can access it free there as well. So, you'd have to go to the Minimax platform, and make an account, then you'll have to log in, and then hit the grab, your API key option, and then create a new key, and then copy it, and you can start using it. To use it with Claude Code, you'll need to go to this page in their docs, which is under the M2 for AI Coding Tools options. Here, you can see that we have to paste this into the Claude Settings file. So, just copy it, and then put it in there. In the API key, just replace it with the API key that you have grabbed from the platform, and that's all you need to do. Now, you can head on over to the repo that you want to work on, and then start Claude. It may ask you that you have different model config and would you like to proceed. Just hit continue and you should be good to go. Now, it's all configured and we can start using it. So, I'm going to ask it to do one of my benchmark questions, which is to build me a good looking movie tracker app in Expo. It requires long running and let's see. So, the first impressions is that it's really fast. I mean, it's very quick. It writes code really fast, and the diff edit or any kind of error is very less. Actually, I did a rough test of diff edit failures, and with Kilo, the diff edit and tool call failure combined were only two times in a conversation that was like really long. It was for the same movie tracker app, whereas GLM was at eight tool call failures. It's not that bad, because GLM easily recovers from it. I also benchmarked the speed here, and how much time it takes to finish something. And since the Minimax model is a bit faster, it takes about 30% less time than GLM. 
Both are via official endpoints. The speed will vary based on what provider you use, but it's generally 30% faster. It sometimes dips down, but generally it's pretty fast. Now, if I show you the movie tracker that it built, then it's quite good. It implemented the home page correctly, we also get the inner pages working, and we also have the calendar. The storage, however, doesn't work. This is obviously one shot, but it's pretty great. It is really great at not making those trashy purple UIs. It's really great with UIS. I think that with Claude Code, it's quite good as a pair programmer. It can make very specific edits. If you get the Claude Code markdown file made, then it's even better. So, this works really well. If I show you the calculator with Go, then it also works really well, and it's quite better than something that it generates with Roo. So, this is quite great. Another thing is that it works really well with Godot. There was apparently an issue with OpenRouter, which was making issues, but the official API is working really well, and the Godot game just works extremely well. So, this is also great. You can see the step counter, the life bar is also working fine, and it is quite good. Similarly, the Svelte app is also now better with Claude Code, and it actually made the whole Svelte app for after working for like 20 minutes non-stop, which is quite awesome. It works quite well. Minimax and Claude together scores about the second position on my agentic leaderboard now. It's really good. From my little daily usage testing, I like it a bit better for daily usage than GLM. It can be a bit dumber at times than GLM, and that's completely fine, but it's just so good in other place. It is also great at debugging, because its thinking is not as buggy as what you see with GLM, and it can think through the errors and check and do correct tool calls. It can be more token-hungry because of the reasoning, but that's completely fine with me. I think that this is a really good agentic model, and it just works extremely well. I have been liking it a lot. GLM is still a good model, but it has its quirks. Like the broke one thinking is a bit bad for me, but this is much better. It's very less buggy. It's super snappy. I hope something like Cerebras adds it and makes it super fast. I have currently switched to this model, considering that it's free currently as well. I hope that it makes it better. That is majorly about it. I really like this new model. It's one of the models that really gets me excited about small models. It's just 200 billion parameters that is really this good in coding. I can use it, and it doesn't throw any tool call errors. It is not buggy. I can probably get like a Mac Studio FO 512 gigs RAM and get local intelligence of like 80% of Sonnet at home. And even without that, it's so fast and low cost. It's just awesome for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.